Ah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's almost that time, summertime. Hope you all have had a great school year. This summer's gonna be amazing, filled with friendship, fun, little yachty music, positivity, sobriety, amazingness, rainbows, sunshine, happiness, you name it. And of course, <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> and of course, amazing. <laughs> I can't wait. Whenever we have to do shit like this, it's impossible to hold it in. And of course, amazing bounce. <laughs> Quick film in the pool. <laughs> and of course, amazing Bale and Levine videos. Me, Seabass, and Pete are all just enjoying our nice summer day and our new merch. Only available at BaleandLevine.com. Come, come closer, take a closer look. As you can see on the front side of the shirt, we have this nice steering wheel established in 1969. Key word, 69. Fucking hell. <laughs> 69. On the front side of the shirt, we have this nice steering wheel. Established in 1969. Huh, get it? 69. <laughs> <laughs> and if we head on over to my good colleague Peach, we have the back side of the shirt where you can see a nice boat and the words Benitez. We have the man himself over here, Sebastian Benitez, repping the new Benitez shirt. If I don't say so myself, it looks pretty dandy now, eh, Seabass? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me as I cackle and share a nice lemonade with Peach. <laughs> <laughs> Man, before I started wearing Van Levine merch, I had zero girls, zero money. My mom would always ground me every time she saw my face. I started wearing Van Levine merch like that. I started getting girls. I started never getting grounded. My grades went up like 30 points. I was 4'8", now I'm 5'4", bro. Let's go, man. I improved, bro, thanks to Ben Levine's merch, man. Oh, didn't see you guys there. Another day, another dollar. The Benitez established in 1969 merch just dropped, and um, I had a micro penis. And then uh, I put the shirt on seven inches like that. Like that. What's that? Yeah, I could show you the back. Drip too hard, don't stand too close. You gon' fuck around and drown off this wave. Have a good day. We are at the airport right now, guys, waiting for my buddy Clicks to pick me up because today is a very special day. It's gonna be the first time I play Fortnite, and it's gonna be on his stream. Anakin's in the game now, and I just have to, you know? It's literally me as a Fortnite skin. And I was watching Lila play, and it's just all Star Wars themed, so I'm excited. I can't believe it was my first time. All these years, I've somehow avoided it. I, like, never played it when it first came out, so then it just became a meme that, like, I refused to play, and I would just not touch the controller when everyone was playing. So today's gonna become an iconic day. We're gonna see what the hype about this game is all about. Yeah, I got corded headphones, too. Fuck AirPods. Comment below if you think these are better. It's just nice, man. You don't have to worry about charging them. It doesn't look all extra. You don't look all fucking, ooh, look at me with my AirPods. Just. The OG chords, man, I love it. I swear they sound better than these two. I'm so excited, bro. I feel like every single person in their life has played Fortnite. I'm not lying. I have never played a split second of a game. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. It's my first day. I'm gonna play Fortnite for the first time today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever played? No. Oh shit, look at that. I'm not alone. This is how I'm starting to sit. Clicks. Where are you? Good to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. It's a pleasure. You're tall as fuck. Thank Ooh, you, man. Right, right up there. <laughs> He went right for it. I thought it was gonna be warm in Texas. Bro, the weather's so bad, right? Yeah. I actually just got banned on Fortnite. Yeah, I know. I didn't know you were banned. I don't have good luck with Best Buys. You get kicked out on every single one. Every single one. The one time they posted me on their Facebook and they like, watch out for this kid. Because we go in there and we like connect to the speakers. <laughs> oh, it's so that? funny. No, if you connect and they don't know it's you who's connecting, it's the funniest shit of all time. We'll do it. Yeah, let's do it. But see, this is what we need to do is let's like ask them about the controller and then we connect. So then they're like, oh, we were helping them. They're definitely not the kids connecting. Uh, yeah, the two <laughs> teenage looking kids with the filmers aren't connecting. <laughs> and we're all wearing freak vape. <laughs> You're the gamer, bro. Where's the controllers at? Hi, right, bro. You want me to get my nerd? My nerd shit? We went to his house to play and then he's like, yeah, it's keyboard and mouse. And I'm like, oh, fuck, no, dude. I'm not with all that new gen shit. I'm an Xbox 360 type of guy. There's some down there. Is there a certain one you're looking for? Just um, for this that, that is really cool. I'm feeling this. I think we're trying to look at the sound bars because it's his first time. He's going to watch Star Wars tonight. We're going to run some Revenge of the Sith, all that. But wondering if we could just test out the speakers, see how they are. Probably not. Just the right demo now, mode. If they're still hooked up, it's game over. If they're hooked up, it's game over. These wouldn't hook up to the TVs? I don't 
No? There's just nothing hooked up right now. Okay. What are y'all doing? No, we're Definitely literally like just... documenting our like, first Star Wars. Because I've uh, never seen Star Wars. He's never seen Star Wars in his life. So we're trying to document you fuck with Star Wars? Yeah. If I didn't, then my fiance wouldn't be with me. That's what I'm really? saying. Every man should like love the, Star Wars. Like Who's your favorite Star Wars character? Probably Rey. Which, Rey? But she's like the newest. Yeah, yeah. I gotta go Anakin. So this nerd doesn't even know. It's so lame. Nah, he. It's just so unfuturistic. You think you think Yannickin and Yoda would fuck Yannickin? He, he just said Yannickin. First of all, that's what his name is. No, it's Anakin. Well, I would like, say it's the most beautiful story of all time. The rise Anakin becomes well, Darth Vader and movie, does it for love. I can't watch a movie that's not real. I'm not gonna lie, you guys lucked out because I'm gonna keep it. I'm just gonna be honest. We were gonna connect to the speakers and like blast moans and farts and give you the whole prank ordeal, <laughs> but because it's being rebuilt, we're just gonna buy this and head on our way. Well, I'm so. very glad that she didn't do that. <laughs> best buy locked out today. <laughs> this is the first best buy I've never fucked around in. Opposite side. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that, man. I wasn't trying to cut you or anything. Right. You play Fortnite? I do Shit. I was going to ask if you wanted to hop on run some duos. I don't see a price. You got it or no? Yeah, of course. Thank you, I would cover it, but like, dude. I just got banned. The band's hitting, no, like, I can't hitting the account. Bro. Oh, hey, it's okay, man. Hi there. You doing all right? How are you? I'm doing great. Okay. How are you? Doing good. Fuck, I got Is there it, a telephone number you can Nah, man, I got you. I got you. I got you. A telephone number? 404 6969 6969. What's the name? The name? Anakin. What's the last name? Skywalker. I'm done. Thank you. No, I'm, I'm not even trolling. No, I'm done. No, I legally changed I'm my done. name. Are we doing the protection plan? Um, yeah, honestly, because I rage and I'm like breaking all the time, I'm throwing it against the walls. It doesn't cover that. It's gonna ask Shit. you a couple of You play Fortnite or no? No, I don't play video games. What? You work at Best Buy and you don't play video games? No. Alright, alright. Gotta try Fortnite. I got other things to do. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank you. there you go. Have, Have a, good, a day. good day. May the force be with you. Bro, I don't know why, bro. I did not expect you to say any of that shit. Was I cannot do what you do without laughing. It is so like, natural. Like, I've been doing that shit since I was like 11. So, did you ever start on a controller? Fuck no, bro. I was always keeping mouth. Dude, I thought I blew up. Yonky blew up at 13. <laughs> like, I can't imagine. Alright, I need a lightsaber, okay. guys. Is it automatic? Go to your left gun. Okay, go. Nah. Shoot him. Ah. Get close to him. Ah. Ah. <laughs> hey, yo. Go. How do I reload? Uh, R. It's reloaded. Oh. Dude, can I get a fucking lightsaber? Can I get a lightsaber? Can I... I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. All right, can you get me a lightsaber? What are these things on the back of my fucking controller? Uh, go, go right there, go right there. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, can you get me a lightsaber? Motherfuck, I didn't know where the fuck you need a lightsaber. Okay, where do you get a lightsaber? You need, listen, I'm gonna be honest, you need this. Dude, oh my. Bro, you don't have ammo. Bro. I don't have ammo. Get the fuck away from me, <laughs> nerd. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Fucking Anakin Skywalker, I'll kill you like I killed the fucking younglings. Get fucked! Oh my god! Attack! From my point of view, the Jedi are evil! I'm too good, I'm too oh good. Oh my god, too alive. Right here. Come on, bro. Come on. Oh my god! What do you want, Bailin? What do you want? Where is he? Where is he? Right there, go get him! Oh, oh, oh my god! Take a picture, take a picture! I am, I am, I am! Come on! Let's go, Bailey! Don't you dare ever fucking cross me again. I am the most powerful Jedi ever. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm sorry, bitch! Oh my god! What the fuck? Okay! 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 Two in a row! Okay. Two in a row! What does he have on him? You're good, bro. You really thought, you really thought you could stand a chance against the most powerful Jedi ever. I'm the chosen one. Oh my god. Alright gentlemen, 
I just played Fortnite for the very first time in my life. Three wins in a row. Now, in the beginning, I was looking really bad. It was really, it was when I got the lightsaber. When I got the lightsaber and I could use the force, I fucked shit up. I'm telling you, I'm Anakin. Oh, and now he's gonna be, now he's gonna be with us with the Fortnite. Three wins in a row. Blue lightsaber. Red lightsaber Everyone. and green lightsaber. We did, we did with all the lightsabers, bro. Let that be a lesson, man. You yep. start off not doing well, mm. and at the end, if you work hard enough, you get through it, and you see light, and you win. That's how we do it. That's what I'm talking about. Now you have to say, the f okay. I was going for the handshake. Make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, and uh, buy Frick Vave. There we go. Fuck there the we vape. go. <laughs> Fuck the fucking vapes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> do you need any help? Here. We'll help you out. Oh, thank you. Of course. Of course. Our daddy raised us right, right? Yep. Have a good day. Thank you. Y'all too. Bye. We're getting massages with Mark today. Yes, massages. Hopefully, I always get... scare the people when they walk in there. They see me, they're like, I gotta massage the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you scared too. All right, where the fuck are we going? Go up here, turn right. right How here. do you know where all the massage places are? Yeah, you know. <laughs> I work hard, I'm a coach. How many games you win? One. Two. Well, I wasn't there for the, technically one, two. <laughs> out of how many? 25. Oh, fuck. Two games out of 25, that is horrible. <laughs> you walked into it. Yeah. Don't put the heat on my seat. <laughs> turn that off. He turned the heat on him all the time. Puts the heat on, like, man, my mind like gets overheated if you oh. sign a cooler, bro. <laughs> oh my god, my fucking lips are actually blue. Alright. Been eating a all juicy right. drop up. Pop. Juicy drop pops are the greatest thing ever. Mmm. Taste it back to my childhood. Hey, hey, ho, ha. I see him. I see him. Go left here, go left. All right, now you gotta fly. Now you gotta, the opening go. We go, just like when you're running back, when I coached you. Hit the left tackle. Keep going, keep going. Right here? No, no, what are you, is it traffic? I got it, you, just watch me. You're so fucking impatient. I know. That's what makes it beautiful, see? Oh, shit, Do, does it open? Right, right, turn right. Hey, traffic back that way. <laughs> we up here. Oh, I hate it when you're right. I hate it when you're right. Say it. What? See, I'm right. What'd you get? <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. Don't be afraid to get really in there. Yeah, no, I like it pretty rough. Oh! 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 Sorry, it just feels so good. What's going on? I don't know if I can handle it. I think maybe I'll tap out. You think I can just take a, a break so I can quiet myself down? Okay, okay. Okay, no, no, I, I, I want, no, no more. Please stop forcing me down. No, no, no. No, sir, I, I really think I've had enough. No, sir, please, no. <laughs> more? I don't know if I can take it. Hell yeah, man. You gotta get one of these massages. It's nice. I know, man. Yeah, no. Nah. They hit the G spot. I never knew you had a G spot on your back till today. I think I'm gonna tap out. I don't know if I. I'll just, I'll just pay. I can't. It's too good. We'll take it as a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Awesome. This guy is awesome. Oh, yeah. That's my pitching shoulder. Oh, yes. That was man. good, man. <laughs> oh, man, you got everything on. Oh, he got head, too. I got no head. <laughs> oh, boys, get ready. Oh, fucking nice little dinner day. Could I get a nice cold lemonade, please? Oh. Only you would have that shit on. Sorry, I'm getting a call. <laughs> Let me take it real quick. See, the nice thing about seafood is you gotta work for it. It's like a lesson in life. Nothing good comes easy, you gotta work. That's what kids need to understand, man. You just don't get to live a life of luxury. You gotta get out there and work, just like working for seafood and eating the luxury. I can turn anything into a life lesson. <laughs> yeah! I said live Shaq West, bitch, I'm dying Shaq West! Live Shaq West, bitch, I'm dying Shaq West! Yes. Dude, this is the whole squad, baby. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Live Shack West, bitch, I'm dying Shack West. Live Shack West, bitch, I'm... Sorry, it wasn't us. Bro, where'd you guys oh, get bro. so many donuts? Bro, bro, hook bro, the boy up. hooked us up. You know what? Yeah, he bro. just gave it to you? Yeah. Bro, you're a real one. No way. You're a real one. This is actually the fucking no, gang. Triple, how you been, bro? Oh, it's a movie, bro. <laughs> hey, shout out to the donut man, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to fucking Bart, uh, Homer, the whole gang, you know what I'm saying? We out here. When you see Triple, it's so rare. Like, how many videos do you think you've been in? Bro, like, three? I'm like fucking Bruce Wayne, bro. No, Trouble's really rare, but then him, he's like a fucking Pokemon. Bro, Give us some imitations. Come on, a bird. <laughs> Motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> what else? What else? Bro, y'all remind me of the Three Stooges, bro. Wait, what else? What else can you do? M4. M4. Oh, you gotta pay for that. That's <laughs> that shit ain't free. Please, please, please. Subscription. I give you the Costco free sample. You gotta pay for the rest. Triple, how you been, bro? Bro, I'm just congrats chilling, on the Tesla. Hey, bro, we out here. You know I'm saying you don't see me during the day. <laughs> he I'm never, night. he never looks me in the eyes. He's always in the camera. Hey, we out here, man. I bet Triple, how you doing? Man, we out here. <laughs> Dude, we all fuck that shit up. In there? Yeah. Dude, please don't, bro. We come in here so much. <laughs> oh, really? Hi there. Hi. How you doing, bro? Doing all right yourself. Pretty good, pretty good. It's fucking damn kids out there. I can hear. That's so annoying. Need to grow up. <laughs> Yo, man, man. <laughs> How's it feel graduating college? Yeah. No more, I, I gotta go home and do my fucking homework. Yeah. No more, I gotta wake up for my 8 a.m. You are about to learn the ways to an easy life. Abracadabra. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo, you wanna see something funny as fuck? Watch. Oh, this is gonna be so fucking funny. Oh my God. Is this bitch gonna turn into a fucking Autobot or what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Peach, is this shit gonna turn into Optimus Prime? <laughs> yeah! That's so fucking cool. Oh, can I waterfall that? <laughs> do not spray it. I'll do it in your mouth. I'll do it directly in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I actually meant, I swear I meant in your mouth. I'm not trolling. <laughs> Bro, Double had a fucking glow up. Nah, show a picture of old Double, like you oh, fucking, fuck, you got on your shit, bro. You like jitty on after you got the hairline. Uh, oh, you <laughs> literally, bro. Double Trouble's house party. Yeah! Dude, I've been friends with Double for like four years. I've never been to his house. No way. Pass the rock, fam. Ready for this? Cat say I'm on athletic. Oh shit. oh shit! You gotta get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. You gotta get you, get your head in the game. Get you, get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. Oh shit! Go on, go on, go on. Oh! Let's go! Oh! 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 oh. 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 Dude, let's play in there, please. Uh, I can't get on their fucking bad side. I brought this fucking to my favorite restaurant in Dunwoody, bro. And he fucking got me banned. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, I'm not gonna lie. Don't bring me anywhere you don't want to get banned from. It feels wrong. Dude, we have a ball. We have a mob of people. Why would we not play let's in there? Let's go to the fucking courts. Man. Let's run it up. When are we going to Florida, baby? Shit, tomorrow morning. Remember that game we played? Yeah, the no. ass game? <laughs> we play this game where Noah, like, takes his ass out and, like, we turn off all the lights in the house and put on scary music and like he runs after you and if he catches you he like fucking rubs his ass over you. It's the scariest game of all time. Dude, I was a victim. I've never bro. been caught. No, you got fucked. <laughs> yeah, I, did. I was the last man standing. I was on top of the counter so Noah couldn't really get me. And then Noah cornered him and like once you see it, you're fucked. Like that ass is so nasty. Yeah. People are kind of like, what's wrong with these dudes? Huh? You can't play that game with your friends, man. You don't have real friends. Yeah. Double, let's 1v1 right now. Alright, if I get a point, you gotta suck my dick. Alright, back. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, double. Oh, double. Wait, wait, so oh. Come on, double. No! <laughs> Move! Move! <laughs> no! Alright, DT. Let's see what you got, baby. For three! You're trash, Brock. Come on, bro. Oh! Oh! You see that behind the back shit? Quick, <laughs> come Fuck, bro. Fuck, man. I'm getting tired. Come on, double. Take the shot. You won't. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Post him up, post him up. Oh. Goddamn, bro, I want a refund. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, bro. I want a refund. Oh. I'm not bad. You're not. No, I'm I horrible. Alright, if I get a point, you gotta suck my dick. No, I'm bad. This is jump Peach. <laughs> Just beat his ass. I'm gonna fucking piss on you. Oh. All right, all right. Oh. Funny shit happens when you make a joke or like a roast, you have a soundtrack. Bro, it's like a Disney show when they got the audience to laugh at and shit. <laughs> Bro, they're all like, oh! Watch this. Fuck you, man. Hey. Oh. Hey, fuck you. Yo! Oh. Hey, that's not nice.
Nice. Ready, ready, ready. I'm going to make a guest appearance. You guys got room for one more? Yeah! <laughs> when Chris Brown walked on Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Hi, guys. Um, you know, throughout my whole entire career on YouTube, I've always love to I'd say we do it like once a year we sit down and we just talk because I feel like in all the videos I do talk about real shit all the time like it's me being funny but then like I'm always talking about real stuff but sometimes I think it's good to not even have like anyone around just me you guys you know there's no one around me you guys are probably at home looking at your phone on the screen so it's just we're on FaceTime right now, you know? And I feel it's important to just have that one-on-one -on -one time with you guys. You guys are my purpose. That's why I do what I do. Number one, my priority and the reason why I do all of this is your guys' happiness. And making you guys happy makes me happy. You know, I feel like you guys have grown with me. You guys have seen the journey, whether you are a fan from four years ago, whether you're a fan from a year ago, whether you're a fan from three days ago. My whole life is on video, and I feel like you guys are so loyal. You guys go and watch all the videos, so you've seen the whole journey. Whether you've been there from the beginning or whether you've tapped in now, like, you know, I know you guys go back and watch the videos. It's, it's amazing, but it's a responsibility, and I know that. I'm not out here trying to promote drugs or, you know, being cool or any bullshit that's pushed on the youth. And, you know, there's a lane for everyone, too. I'm not trying to bash anyone. Like, some people didn't sign up to be an influence, but I call myself the king of the youth for a reason. I signed up for this to be an influence. I wanted this life to prank people and have fun and make people laugh, but also to lead the youth down a positive road because I remember what it was like to be a fan, you know? And it makes me so happy when people come up to me and they're like, Bailey, you're my idol, you're my yachty. You're the reason why I don't do this. You're the reason why I followed my dream. You're, you know, I have YouTubers that have made it big time that come up to me saying, like, bro, you're why I made this shit happen. I remember when I first went to YouTube, my mom was like, why don't you do something that helps the world? Like, be a doctor. This is before she understood YouTube. She just thought I was going to prank people. And, and people even think this now, you know? Like, people are on TikTok, like, oh, this kid does prank people. Like, they don't know me like you guys know me. They don't know... Um, you know, they just see a 30 second clip of me messing around. But that was all strategic. Like, I love messing around, but I, I also knew that would get me eyes. And then once I had those eyes on me, I'm free to influence. But my mom used to say, like, why don't you want to be someone like a doctor that impacts people's lives or, you know, something like that. And I was like, I promise you as a YouTuber, I'll be able to impact so many lives because so many kids will look to me. So many kids will look to me to comfort them, to give them advice, to lead them down the correct path. You know, and as time went on, she obviously understood that, but that's how I feel to this day, you know? I know my words are so powerful to you guys. You guys actually are my comfort people because you guys don't judge me at all. And I'm very myself, I'm always myself with everyone. I mean, obviously you guys know that, but there's like another layer of even more comfortability and, and confidence in who I am when I'm talking to you guys because you guys just love me. Like, you don't give a fuck about anything else. You guys aren't judging me. You guys just love me for what I do and you always have my back. Like, you guys know me, I don't dwell on hate. You can't catch a hate comment ruining my day. I won't even respond. I see everything. I, I see everything on the internet. And like, when I see a hate comment and I look at the reply, it's always one of you guys having my back and explaining who I am. You guys are the most genuine fan base on the earth. Everyone fucking says they have the best fans. We know who has the best fans. Like, you guys fucking have my back. It's a family, we ride for each other. And I, and I want you guys to feel that, you know, I say it, but I can't say it enough of that this is a family. You guys have me forever. I'm going nowhere. I'm here to the day I die. I've always been honest with you all. I feel like that's why you guys have my back so much because you value my word. You know, everything I say is the truth. You know, everything I say is comes from my heart. I just want to talk about life. So I thought I'd talk about like the biggest thing ever anyone asked me is how, how do you get so much confidence? How do you stay so positive? You know, all that. And you know, I always brush on it, but I want to go into depth of how to acquire my mindset. And even the mindset I strive for, you know, because I'm human, I'm not perfect. I have made mistakes. To this day, I struggle with things. I, I wanna evolute and grow into the best person I can be. Um, I'm growing with you guys. But the biggest thing about obtaining the mindset is not dwelling on negativity and not being negative. You know, a negative mindset is not cool. It's easy to get in it and it makes you feel powerful and it makes you feel good but it's not real in the long run that never works it's so much cooler to uplift and you know that's not, i'm not being a fucking pussy like obviously it's fun to have memes and make jokes but i'm talking about like you want to uplift your friends you know you want to all have each other's backs and work together spider-man when he gets the black suit 
and he has that negative attitude of life, even though Billy McGuire is such a meme, try to make it serious. Going about life in that manner only leads to friendships collapsing and betrayal and turning into something you're not. Like, it's all, that's not the way. It's so much more awesome to be positive and be selfless and think about others and value friendships and loyalty and you know that that is what life is all about at the end of the day there's a reason why the sith in star wars you know they get power for a little bit and then they always betray each other and it always ends like shit even though the sith are awesome you know that's that's another story this I'm, I'm talking real life shit right now so like the negativity i just spoke on is more like your attitude and how you treat people then there's negativity towards yourself which doesn't give you power that's, that's a whole different type of negativity i'm talking about saying things that i can't and i won't or I, this will never work out, or this can't happen. That is the worst thing you can do. I would not be where I'm at if I had that mindset. I remember speaking about when I wanted to be a YouTuber, I would never say like, oh, I hope I'm gonna do YouTube. Or not, nah, it's so hard, I don't know. I would always say I will do it. I never doubted myself, and that's so important to have a positive outlook. And rather than be like, oh, what if this doesn't go right? What if it all goes right? And then when things don't work out or you get kicked down, you learn from it every single time. So it's like a win-win. Every time I've failed or every time things have gone poorly in my life, it has taught me something. And it sucks in the fucking moment, and I understand that. There's been times where I thought it would never get better. There's been times, you know, where shit has sucked. But um, I'm here to tell you after getting out of those times, they're part of life. They teach you things, they grow you. Part of having a positive attitude is also confidence, which we'll get into. Confidence is key and anyone can obtain it. It's a mindset. It's truly letting go of giving a fuck about what anyone thinks about you, you know? I could have sat here and been like, oh fuck, what if I put out that I love Star Wars and Pirates and everyone thinks I'm lame? Motherfucker, I put out Star Wars and Pirates. First of all, I went about it like I don't give a fuck. It's like, it's cool. If you own something, anything can be cool. You could sit there and be like, Oh, if I push sobriety, I'm gonna look like a lame. Or you push it and be like, damn, I'm gonna lead kids to also wanna be sober. And I've always had that mindset. I've never gotten made fun of for being sober, you know, in high school or anything, because people always respected the way I went about it. So if you own something, you can make anything cool. The second you start thinking about what they're gonna think about you, what they're gonna think about you, you're doomed. You have to learn to let that go. You just have to do you. That's the way to happiness. But you know, insecurities come in, and I've been there, man. Like, I remember. There was a point in my life where I fucking hated my acne. I felt like everyone was looking at it when they were talking to me and I felt like, you know, like I would try to hide it and I would hate going out. Like I just, it sucked. And it was the worst mindset ever because it doesn't matter at the end of the day, you know? Like motherfuckers got their own shit to worry about. Like everyone's got shit they're struggling with. Everyone's got something that they don't like about themselves. Everyone's got a problem. They don't give a fuck. You're your own worst critic. The more you dwell on it and the more you are ashamed of whatever you have that you don't like, then the more people pick up on it and the more like, it's crazy how life works. You have to learn this energy of like, literally when I blew up, I had acne, but I didn't give a fuck. I literally told myself like, damn, I rock it. Like I look cool. Like I didn't, I did not care. And I barely got any comments about it. I barely like, motherfucker, I, I rocked it. I was still fucking pussy and I was still, you know, super confident, like doing these pranks and doing like, it doesn't matter because I just didn't care. I didn't care what anyone thought. You know, and I'm so glad that I had that mindset because if not, what if I was like, oh, I, I don't want to be on camera. I don't want to, uh, like, I wouldn't be here, but I didn't care. I didn't let that stop me. I looked at it from a positive lens and looked at it through confidence. And that doesn't mean don't better yourself. Like, you know, look at my skin now. I, I worked hard on getting it great. If you know you're working on bettering yourself, be content in who you are. If you can take away something from this, never ever let insecurity win. You know, sometimes you gotta speak it, like practice it, start preaching it, tell your friends, like make it a discussion. I feel like that's how I've done it. Write it down, make it your fucking background, like positive, whatever you need, make it a fucking picture of me. I don't know, like something to remind you to be positive and be confident, listen to happy music, listen to things, just put good into you and discuss it and just make it you. You know, you got this, you got this. It's never too late to start. And I know a lot of you are fucking already like this because I meet you all the time out in public. Um, never be afraid to be who you are. I fucking love you guys, thank you. You guys teach me so much to this day. I'm here, I'm fucking always here. I can't wait to see who you guys become. I love you. Where do I go? I don't know. I've been asking myself, yeah, where do I go down this road? I don't know. I know that I've been 
हेलो फ्रेंड्स 